Hey, what's up everyone? It's Phil Meyer. This video will show a couple tweaks you can make to your Botocera system so that both the DualShock 4 and DualSense will behave better with Steam. I'm doing this for Botocera 36, and like any video tutorial, they can change as time moves on. Please be sure to check the video description for any updates before doing this for yourself. So out of the box in Botocera 36, Steam has a problem recognizing the DualShock 4. This is likely something to do with permissions and the flat pack version of Steam that comes with Botocera. The fix for this is pretty straightforward, and it's actually listed on the Botocera wiki as I'm recording this video. To fix this issue, we just need to set up a device rules file on the Botocera machine. Alright, so in the description of this video, I'm actually going to list this rules file, and you can copy it from there. There are several ways you can get this file on your Botocera machine, but to keep this video simple, I'm going to open a remote terminal to it. To remote to my Botocera machine, I like to use PuTTY SSH. In my remote terminal session, I'm going to use the nano editor to edit the new permissions file. I'm just going to paste the contents of the file into the editor, and then I'm going to save it. Now there's a little more that goes into preserving this file. In Botocera, the core operating system is treated kind of like a firmware. Any modifications that you make to the operating system's file are not retained when you reboot. It's actually just reset. So to work with that, what Botocera provides is the idea of an overlay. The overlay serves as a container for any changes that you've made to the stock system. It exists under the boot slash boot directory. Here you can see I don't currently have an overlay file and I'm about to create one. I just need to run the command Botocera save overlay and it will generate the overlay file for us. Now if I list out the contents of the directory, you can see there's a new overlay file in place. So now after I reboot the system, Botocera will keep the changes that I've made to the permissions file. So let's go ahead and do that reboot. All right, back in Botocera, I'm in Steam and it's recognizing my DualShock 4. I've launched the Elder Scrolls Online and I'm running into the second issue with the DualShock 4. The problem here is that the touchpad is always treated like a mouse. For this game, I have a Steam controller layout that assigns the touchpad button to summon the horse. But trying to use the touchpad button, I'm getting all sorts of mouse movement and mouse clicks as well. The problem is that the X display server, which is part of Botocera's underlying operating system, is detecting the DualShock's touchpad as a mouse. And the same thing will happen here for the DualSense. This makes it really frustrating to use the touchpad for any games in Steam. There is a fix to this, and it involves telling Xorg to ignore the touchpad on both controllers. Now there is a trade-off for disabling the touchpad as mouse. The Nintendo 3DS emulator Citra actually uses the mouse as a way to simulate the hardware's touchpad. If it's important for you to use the DualShock and DualSense touchpad in this way for Nintendo 3DS, you may not want to go forward with this. You can also check the video's description. If there's anything new for this, I'll be sure to post an update there. In my case, I don't use the DualShock touchpad for the Nintendo 3DS, so I'd prefer to have it available to Steam. So let's get back to a terminal session. From the terminal, we can run a command to list the input devices connected to the system. Here in this list, you can actually see the DualShock. It shows up as wireless controller, and the DualSense will show up in much the same way. So there's a file we can set up on the system that will tell X to ignore the DualShock's touchpad, and we'll do this much the same way that we set up the DualShock's permissions file. What this does is tell the system that any device that has controller touchpad in the name and is a touchpad should just be ignored. We'll copy and save this file the same way we did with the permissions file. And then again, when we're done here, we need to run Botocera save overlay so that it preserves. Let's reboot the system and try it out. So here I am back in Elder Scrolls Online and the touchpad button on my controller is doing what I wanted it to do. Just a note that if you want to use the mouse as a touchpad in a Steam game, you still can. The mapping still works between touchpad and mouse. It just prevents the system from always treating it like a mouse. All right, I'm pretty happy with how this is working, but I always like to know how to return the system back to stock if I ever need to someday. Thanks to Botocera's overlay system, if we ever want to undo all this, we just need to remove that overlay file. Let's go ahead and try that. So you can see here, it's actually not letting me delete it because the file system is mounted read-only. So all we have to do is remount the boot partition as read-write. After we do that, it'll let us delete the overlay file. After removing the file, you can go ahead and reboot the system and it'll be back to stock. 
Alright everyone, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, you can let me know by hitting that like button. I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel out and lets me know what types of videos I should make in the future. Take care everybody.